Homicide cases, the Navy now filing serious charges against a pair of decorated Navy ship commanders after two collisions at sea killed more than a dozen sailors, including three from Maryland. WJZ is live. Rick Ritter explains loved ones have been demanding answers. Rick? Well, Mary, for months, the Navy has been facing tough questions regarding these accidents. They say it was human error bad judgment and crews being unprepared. Now several people are facing homicide charges. The memories are still haunting. The divers were able to locate some remains in those sealed compartments. And the pain of losing a loved one might never go away. Very hard. It's my only child. It's all I have. Can't even put it into words. Over the summer, it was back-to-back -back tragedies that rocked the United States Navy. In June, the USS Fitzgerald collided with a container ship off the coast of Japan, killing seven sailors, including First Class Xavier Martin of Halthorpe. It's not a day I don't think about him. Just weeks later, the USS John McCain collided with an oil tanker near Singapore, killing 10 sailors, including 23-year-old Second Class Timothy Thomas Eccles Jr. from Carroll County and 26-year-old First Class Kevin Bushel from Gaithersburg. One tragedy like this is one too many. A total of five Navy officers involved in the two collisions are now facing a variety of criminal charges, including negligent homicide. Many have made the comment that this does appear to be a very significant step. Military expert Chris Osborne. They, they talked about how the responsibility for this falls squarely at the position of the commander. We had the responsibility to oversee the bridge team and ensure that they were properly up to speed on the various protocols. Osborne says talk. moving forward, the Navy is not only focused on improving training, but also computer automation technology that can keep ships safer. If you have longer range sensors or radar on a given ship, you might be able to detect a potential problem or hazard further away. And numerous people lost their jobs after these collisions. They say in addition to criminal charges, actions are being taken against other members of both crews. Mary. Rick, thank you. The Chief of Naval Operations vowed that the service will get back to basics.